so what is the FDA? Uh, the FDA is a federal agency which follows a federal law called the Code of Federal Regulations. And what they do, they're supposed to ensure the safety and proper labeling of foods. And that includes vitamins and nutritional subjects you've heard a lot about, uh, also cosmetics. Uh, it also ensures safety and proper performance of medical devices and uh, uh, for example, pacemakers, and in fact, they also uh, ensure the performance of medical maggots and leeches. I'm not quite sure what the maggots are used for, but they are considered medical devices. Um, and for the present discussion, uh, they ensure the safety and efficacy of drugs, uh, including uh, biologics, which are drugs that are derived from uh, cells and, and viruses, and that includes gene therapy drugs, stem cells, and uh, vaccines. Um, some things uh, about the FDA to keep in mind is uh, FDA evaluation of drugs include uh, the administration. So when they look at our studies in gene therapy, they're also looking at the surgery involved because that is required for the delivery or administration of the drugs, so the safety of the delivery system. If you can't deliver a, you know, you could have the best drug in the world. If you can't deliver it safely, it's uh, uh, pretty much useless and won't be approved. Uh, the FDA also considers the uh, indications for what drugs are used for. So uh, if something is approved for uh, Choroideremia, it may only be approved by the FDA for use in uh, people from the ages of six years old to 40 years old with a certain level of vision. They, they decide the labeling and the uses. If you use it outside that, which we often do in medicine, that's off-label use. Uh, the FDA doesn't uh, uh, really have a purview on that. Now, one thing that uh, people should recognize is that the FDA does not regulate standalone surgery. And this is important uh, to this group because many of you may have heard of stem cell therapy that's being offered in China or different places in the United States uh, purportedly to treat uh, eye conditions or retinal degeneration. The FDA does not have uh, any say in that matter if uh, what is done is cells are taken from one part of the body, like blood, and put in another part of the body, like the eye socket. That is actually considered standalone surgery. It's plastic surgery. The uh, clinical trials that are FDA approved are actually stem cells that are taken from another person or another, uh, uh, another tissue. And once you leave your own body, that's not standalone surgery. And the FDA indeed looks very, very carefully uh, at situations like that. So the only thing that people who do autologous stem cell, that is stem cells from your own body, uh, the, those investigators only have to go through a hospital IRB and in fact don't really have to prove that the uh, therapy works. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about that. Um, what many people find very uh, surprising is that the FDA has no relationship whatsoever with any other uh, governmental agency. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's in an ivory tower. It does not have to answer to the NIH or the National Science Foundation. In fact, it's the other way around. When an NIH study is done, a clinical trial, for instance, on vitamins, uh, uh, the um, uh, there is really no communication between the two. 